Probably gonna be uh maybe a cutscene. Working together brings out Thank the you. true power of kinship. By the way, the cool guy who changed your outlook? What's he like? Is he more claudacious than me? You think he's a cool guy, huh? That's a given, no? Well, Naviru, he's actually... Whoa! I just realized I'm totally starving! Let's head back, report in, and grab a bite! Windmill parts. Uh, before we go back, I want to see Lagambi's, uh, thing, so when we're back in the village, I can switch these two out. And then you'll, and then we can go get a Toby egg. That'll, that'll add another one. Maybe it's because I haven't played this game in six months, but I almost feel like I'm due for weapon upgrades. Uh... I think not the hunting horn. Like, the Rathian hunting horn's pretty good for this point of the game. Everything else, yes. Absolutely. Look at the horn's like the newest thing I got. Um, more, more the sword, and I guess the other thing, the Peko TP I have. I think you were saving up for the Anjanath great sword, which you should have enough parts for. Oh yeah, there was a sword. There was a sword I really liked. I would have to look back at it, but I I think you're right. I was saving for something. The horn I'm good with. I really want a new sword and a new piercing weapon. A sword is the only thing that that's effective on. Oh my word, just threw a giant snowball, I love that. Yeah. I know, it's been a while since you played Rise, so you don't remember what Lagambi does. I remember, I do remember Lagambi from Rise, I don't remember its move patterns, but I remember its design all the, all the well. Yeah, in, in Master Rank, he throws so many of those giant snowballs at you. Having to respond to a text really quick. All right, where are we at? Oh, what do you go for here? Probably. Heck yeah! I was sealed though, so I couldn't go power. to learn their pattern. If I wasn't sealed, I would know its pattern. I want this kinship to build up. I want to be able to use it and just take out Lagambi. Yukis, I'd rather you not. Oh, kinship, let's go. Let's do it. What we got here? Slide spinner? Oh, new metal, new rider. Keep it 
That was actually really good. Yeah, no, that was pretty decent. I actually good. like that one. Definitely not like... Maybe, I don't know, maybe a... If not a top 5, maybe a top 10. I mean, it is like, you know, snowboarding on a sliding Legombi. It's pretty cool. It is nice. That was a good one, though. All right, back to Kuan Village. Yep. So we're closing in on the kinship backlog. Um, and then there's a new monster that's now available with Toby. And story progression. Goodbye, Kangala, Ray Boggy, and then goodbye, Lagambi. Catch you watching. This freak of nature. He's on the top row. Oh, no, yeah, I found him. Okay. Uh, any subquests to report? Yeah, we got a few. Perfect. That'll save time on having to level them up. So I want to go back to that blacksmith and see what sword I was saving up for. Did I can't get the Tigrix Jawblade? I was impressed with that one, but there's no way I can get that. I can't get any of the Royal Monster equipment because they have a secondary material that like locks you from getting it, basically. Subtle for next best thing. Actually, maybe I'll get this too to have a normal. Get on the smash, so I want to look for a pierce weapon now. Just normal. Could get that. Don't have enough for that one. Let's just get the hard hitter. Which is a uh, Gypsros gun lance. This bow looks cool. I'm gonna get this too. Oh, that's the Toby bow. Yeah, I like the color scheme. Uh, yeah. I think I really use. I think I didn't use bows all that much because I had Alvis in the second part, but we don't have Alvis anymore, so I might actually try to use bow a little more, maybe. Yeah, it does. It does more damage than the gun lance, um, but it's you're you're constantly using like charge, which can leave you open to attack, which is kind of why I think bow is my least favorite weapon out of the six. Yeah, I never tried Except it out. I use the least. For sure, I, I think I think when it comes to like um, post game, like even though Gunlance doesn't deal that much damage, it's just so useful for surviving certain situations that like I there's never a moment where I don't bring. Them. I definitely like I like great swords. That's definitely probably my favorite weapon. Yeah, great swords really good. I I, I like great swords. Especially with the charging mechanic, I really like it. But uh, I'll give Bo a fair shake. Like, I think... I, I mean, Sword and Shield has its uses as well. Good new 
news, Chief, we got back some Toby Kadachi fur. Splendid. With this, the final windmill will be nearly up and running. Nearly? I thought this was it. We can get the last thing we need in the Jagged Rock Cave. You can rely on this legendary feline to help you with anything, Chief. Good, good. Go to the windmills. The villager there will give you the details. Alright. Um, um. I just want to get these kinships over with as soon as possible. Oh wait, side quest? Tear Popo. Hey. Hi there. So you made the Anginat weapon. Oh, okay. I can do that. Nice. I forgot I accepted that quest. It's great on you, blah, blah, blah. All right. Oh, and that gave you some sort of weapon skill, too. So those, those ones are important to look for, because they increase the attack, the uh, number of attacks you have access to with certain weapons. What's it called, though? Um, it just automatically gets added. Um, I think the, yeah, there's no way to see it now that you've finished the quest, I think. Um, but I can quickly oh, is it just look like it a up. Is it like a passive ability or something? Well, it's just it's just like you basically unlocked it for a certain weapon now. Um, but it's like it's described as a as an item, um, like a weapon scroll. So it's like, oh, I read the scroll and like now know how to use this move. Um, but I can I can look up what uh, skill it is if you're curious. I mean, it'd be nice if it's if it's always in effect. Then you know I don't really mind, care, but like. It wouldn't... I wouldn't mind knowing what it does. Yeah. Oh, talk to the villager, right? Villager's right over yonder. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey there! The windmill's close to completion from the looks of it. What else do you need? Someone pinch me. It's the legendary... Yeah! Rider! <laughs> Say what? Don't you mean legendary feline? There is nothing about you that's legendary. Chief says you need parts for the windmill? Ah, uh, yes. Thing is, I'd need to go to the Jagged Rock Cave to get them. And it's not safe to go. Oh! Them. Okay. It What's is good that you did that. Um, it gives you the hunting horn skill Bloodsuck. Uh, which is not available on your particular hunting horn because there are different hunting horns with different song sets. Um, but basically what Bloodsuck does is it um, for three turns it gives your party access to health regeneration uh, from your attacks. So it, it like turns all your attacks into like something like you know like Giga Drain or Drain Punch stuff like that. Like it does, you recover a percentage of your health uh, based on the damage you deal. That's cool. So that, that's actually a really good um, the hunting horn song to have. It's just, it's not on the particular hunting horn that you're using right now. What? Why not? There's something in there that attacks people. Not a sound to warn you, and you're knocked out. It, it doesn't make a sound? It's true, I tell you. I'm not setting foot in that cave until someone sees to it that it's safe. <laughs> I'm not gonna pretend it doesn't sound a little scary, but if we band together, we've got nothing to fear. Good luck. The windmill parts from that cave are the last pieces I need. The windmills really are impressive. Aren't they? They symbolize the strength of the bonds between us. They... they do? Ask anyone and they'll say the same. Without Avinia, there'd be no windmills here now. Huh? Come on. Let's go to that cave. Yeah! Good idea! Unseen foe. Last parts you need to complete the windmills can be found in Jagged Rock Cave. However, anyone who attempts to enter the cave has been attacked by an unknown assailant. Sowing fear among the villagers. With no time to give them the fear, you head into the cave. Alright then. Last piece. Let's get it. Actually, can I? There. 
to ride my Norakuga, which is much faster. Oh, we need a hot mess again. All the more incentive for you to finish the Lasco maybe this stream. <laughs> and you don't have to worry about it unless you come back. Yeah. That guy said you're the one who made the windmills happen. Is that true, Vinia? To tell the truth, he was terrified of Frostfang at first. So, you mean he was against you coming back? That's right. But he seems perfectly fine around Frostfang now. Getting him and other villagers to accept Frostfang was a painfully long process. When I returned with Frostfang by my side, I was hopeful. At the time, the village was in really bad shape. There was even a monster living there. It seemed like a lost cause. Is that another Kuga? What are we gonna do about that monster? Wow, okay, is this a Narukuga? I don't know how behind you are on stream. Uh, it just popped up, yeah. That is, uh, a black blighted Narukuga. Neat. Frostfang, let's go! Hey, it's Avinia! Did you come back to help us? Why else? Frostfang and I came back to do our part. I'm sorry about what I said to you. Stay in Kuan, please. Frostfang can stay too, of course. Okay, I'll stay. Let's rebuild our village together. They accepted Frostfang into the community, so we stayed. The windmills were the first things we rebuilt together. They mean so much to Kuan. They've come to symbolize all of us coming together. Frostfang included. Aw, oh, I love a happy ending. And Frostfang became part of the Kuan family. Now, if we could only get people to trust Ratha, too. I know how you feel about Ratha. He's as special to you as Frostfang is to me. You want him to be accepted? Keep trying. And eventually, people will come around. I also want him to be viable in combat, so... And remember, you can count on me all the way! The monster in the cave is a Kezu. I'm sure of it. A long time ago, I got attacked by one and it knocked me out cold. This won't be easy. Oh, I know about Kezu. I played Rise. Yep. <laughs> Alright, that's nice. We're gonna see Kezu again. Yeah, and she also is referencing in the first game when you meet her, she got attacked by a kezu. Oh, nice. Jagged Rock Cave. Pick up, thank you. <laughs> Diamond Dust. That's my Shiva Stone. As soon as I see an enemy, I am going to switch to my Etcha Watcha. A Jade Baroth? Oh, it's Jade Baroth! Okay, so he's unlocked now as well. That's cool. Yeah, so we've got quite a few new monsters to get them. I mentioned not being, like, I didn't think uh, Baroth looked bad or anything. I wasn't the biggest fan. It wasn't, like, the biggest, like, hit for me, but this color scheme on Jade Baroth seems nice. I like Jade Baroth better as well. Um, he's also, obviously, like, more snow-oriented, whereas Baroth is mud. Oh, nice. 
So bow is bad on you. I will not use bow in the future. Yeah, that's the other thing why I I tend to prefer gunlance to bow is that there's a lot of monsters that none of their parts are weak to piercing. So it's like, oh, like you don't need to bring a piercing weapon to certain fights, but like gunlance still has the defensive utility to allow you to survive hits you otherwise wouldn't. Uh, whereas like bow is like just straight up useless in those situations. So it's either like I'll double up on both hammer and hunting horn, or um, I'll I'll keep bringing. Hey, check out this flaming zon. You're hitting the other one, please. Oh dang it! Oh, it hit both. Perfect. All right. That's why I need. Just you, Jade Baroth. I'm gonna get your kinship over with. It's honestly just my priority. Torrent glide. Let's see it. Alright, that one was pretty good. What do you think of Catcher Watches? I like it. You know, I mean, it is like, it is very catch a watch. It. Like, it's nothing like super special, but, you know, it, it feels like the monster. I like the meteor or whatever it was, the drop at the end. Oh, the, the snot balls? Yeah. <laughs> it reminded me of meteors. this last the better i can get great boggies in too maybe you probably will you haven't fought jay barrel <laughs> <laughs> snow mantle oh he's covered in snow he looks pretty cool when he's covered in snow though doesn't he i yeah i agree he does I'm back to charging. Hit the tail! Aim for that yielding tail. See, that's one of the few exceptions where the tail is not weak to being cut off. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sword's not so good on you, but I'm gonna let off this charge slash at least. You can try another part, too. There's probably another part this week to slashing. Yeah, I'll bet. Try the legs. Oh, yep, there it was. I did basically all of its health on the legs with the sword. All right, well, we're changing the rule of thumb for a bit. I'm going to get your legs now. Oh, charge slash one knockdown would have been sick. Or kid chip. Still gonna get a ton of crits though, because you went first. But yeah, crit's a crit. Loser kinship of Hunt. Anger. Dude, you're so close to your kinship. Like, right there. Okay, you're doing Assault Lord. Didn't matter what I chose.
Oh, he's dead. He died literally right when I got my kinship. That's lame. I saw that he was drooling, so I like, and, and it didn't matter anyway because Avinia also had her kinship, so you would have had to wait a turn anyway. Yeah, I saw Avinia get it, and I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna wait a turn," but then he died. All right, I'll get great buggies. I'll just put them in the front. And we'll get it next fight. Ba -ba -ba. Alright, to answer your question, I value gameplay the most, um, followed by characters and then uh, story last. Um, because, and I think Nova and I are kind of on the same wavelength with this, but to us, um, a good story doesn't matter if you don't care about the characters, because if the characters are bad, then you don't care what they're doing because you don't like them. Yeah, it's basically my analysis. Like, why care about, like, oh, the, the world's ending, this person's doing this, etc., if the characters don't interest me? So I definitely agree with that, yeah. I would honestly argue, while I normally say characters and story, I would honestly argue maybe characters gameplay story. Because there are some games that I really love that their stories aren't, like, terrible, but they're not all that great. But it's the cast that makes them good. Now, I would also argue that there are a lot of games that focus on gameplay over story. And, like, that's what gets me to keep coming back as well. That's, that's why I said gameplay first. Like, I, like, as we talked about last stream, I feel like monster collecting RPGs in general. Uh, gameplay is the primary focus. I mean, I'm loving over... this game, and this game is, like, the story's fine, and the characters are fine. But the gameplay's really good. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. So, and, like, even mainline Monster Hunter, it's like, I don't care what the stories are. Like, sure, cool characters are nice, but at the end of the day, it's about me. You know, I mean, I guess if you want to consider the monsters to be characters, you know, having good monster design and, and implementation of the oh, yeah, Having nice is... lore with the monsters like SMT does is really nice. Or this game. This game seems to have a lot of detail with their monsters. Yeah, it's it's less about lore and more about ecology, which has a um, I was wildlife. more I was more referring to SMT with lore, but yeah. But yeah, this game, I get what you're saying. Basically, the background of monsters. Yeah. Just, like, the fact that they, like, take a lot of things that actually happen in nature. And they're like, yeah, let's make this into uh, a monster concept. And it's like, you're just putting in so much detail that nobody else does in these games. And I love it. I appreciate when games put detail in their games. I can appreciate that. In your favorite Pokemon games, Heart Cold and Full Silver. Like, I... Like yeah. that game just yeah. kind of extra deep wasn't necessary at all. Characters are awful. I would not like the game if it have as amazing story and gameplay. Yeah, I mean, if it's an RPG, yeah, terrible, like unbearable, terrible characters. Star Ocean Four. Um, I can concur. Yeah, I think like it's also just like with JRPGs. I think story and characters matter a lot more with that genre than a lot of other genres. Yeah, like. Most, there are other games that I play with terrible cast, but most games, like this game for example, the characters are like, they're not terrible, they're fine. Like, they're they're like neat, they're fine. So, yeah, with how fun the gameplay is, it's enough to be like, oh yeah, this game is still solid. Yeah, like there's a couple of characters, there, there's always like a couple of characters that people don't like. But Navaru. <laughs> it's like not, it's not enough to keep you 
Yeah, Navaru is definitely not enough to keep me away from the game. And it's like Persona 4 has phenomenal characters, but I don't like Teddy. But it's got so many great characters in it. Yeah. Well, and it's like you don't like you don't like Patty either, but you still think this fairy is fine. Like you don't like Anis, but um, I mean you haven't played a bit in a while. But oh like, yeah, I, I think you're... I still wouldn't like Anis if I replayed it. Yeah, and like the other thing for me too is that characters that I really don't like in English. Um, when I listen to the Japanese audio, I tend to feel better about them because I think that there's a lot of times where the Japanese voice work is better, even if I can't understand the exact word. Like, I, I, I don't know, I, I tend to enjoy certain more dislikable characters more with the Japanese vodka. I can see that. That's why I like having the option, even if I play in English, but I like having the option. Yeah, well, I think it's like, I, I tend to go English anyway, but like, I'll always like listen to the the Japanese audio like on YouTube or if there's an anime adaptation you know Japan's very good about using the same voice actor whenever they want to you know do that role for an anime adaptation or something like that uh, so I still get to kind of learn what the Japanese cast is like in that regard and so um, like especially with Abyss like I'll progress with the game and then I'll go watch like the corresponding anime episode like immediately afterward and it gives me kind of a feel for both the English cast and the uh, Japanese cast. And it, you know, if I ever end up replaying that game, I could honestly see myself being okay with playing it in Japanese on a second playthrough. I just would rather use the English cast on the first playthrough because that is my friend. 